Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Valiant sirens, for your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. Wait, do you already heal once before? You cast down we'll come that back dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Pray accept your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzatan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Tis of no moment, a mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. Twould seem we share the same desire for peace, great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay. When war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, Prince its thirteen down. reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Hey, hey, cousin, got the trap up, don't feel like my best five children earlier. Hey, you know what? It's alright, I saw that you were busy, uh, doing a bunch of stuff with your kids, it's all good. I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydaelyn to whom we must look for answers. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which 
which may afford you some small comfort. Tis a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire I once posed the question, of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, "'Twas the last bastion of hope. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I have left unturned ever since. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talotheroi is far from finished. We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. <laughs> Kira is just so cute. It's pretty a moment. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. I knew it to be so. From man and dragon alike have I learned of thine exploits. Was a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained Midgard Summer's trust, but alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. My dragon girl has such a nice, nice butt, I just want to touch it. <laughs> I can summon the... Oh my god, they're so cute. They are so Take cute. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou wilt need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my Wait siblings too. driven mad by I Thus think do I, I need to do a dungeon. 
took you yeah. time out. Oh, how much time do I have for this? That seemed to not, just... not long. You're literally right behind me. <laughs> Alice's sword looks like a uh, lightsaber. Apologies. We haven't meant to interrupt. Right? You can actually get that skin it's cover that for all your weapons. Of suddenly collapsing. Oh, yeah? When you didn't Pretty much. Us out. Design so I think you need a coffee. Is there any place open? Can you use this open? I got you, fam. Go. At war's end, um, I pray you, I welcome you, thee back Are you turning into the kid with no diaper? Because he literally says... Look at Ori, you don't have access to my kick chat. He literally says in every message, Got you, got you, fam, got you, fam. Got you, fam. <laughs> yeah. Like his very last message, which was five minutes ago. Got you tabbed up, fam, ski. <laughs> it's actually funny because Kid with the Diaper is actually how I met the Australians. Because I caught him to his stream one day. And. Um, he okay. was like... Sent. I got you. Um... What else? Um... Him. No! 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 Right. Close at 1055. That's stupid. On DoorDash. Opens at 6 a.m. How, how far are you from like a grocery store? Uh, Saturdays they close at 9. 7 Eleven? Uh, I could do a 7 Eleven delivery. Energy drink or something? Yeah. Uh, $15 delivery, or oh, $15 minimum, it says here. Oh. Otherwise, it's, um... Otherwise, it, it is a $9 delivery fee. From 7-Eleven. Jesus. Jesus, indeed. Let's see, what... Um, McDonald's has coffee, and I, I and, and I need to eat, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, what is a cheap McDonald's meal? Quarter pounder. The pickles and the onions. Uh, three milk, three sugar. I can't attune this. I have literally have just enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Delivery will arrive in, in 18 minutes. Why did we not attune to these before when we were in the city before? Because we couldn't have 
Remember, oh. we only were in the room. Oh, like. Just to attend to. Hello, Alice. See what the Alfie said? This city is so confusing. I thought the Crystallium was was confusing. Or, I or love him. <laughs> this is way easier to navigate than the Crystallium. Mm. That's just my opinion. Okay, so can I tune to this crystal yet? No. No? No. Then why did Alfred just say, uh, tune to the crystal and then go talk to the people? The little crystals. Oh. Holy crap, why is there all the people on this? Uh, this is where everybody has been hiding. It's in this yep. city. Mm hmm. Why? Because it's got a lot of great things. You're gonna run past for a minute and then turn to this bit. This will be good. So what's so great about this city? Everybody hide is hiding here. These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Sot. You know the song that has the... The guitar theme, like doing this or touchy. we could use them to invade Garlemald proper mm -hmm. and strike directly it at is the not available on Spotify. Operations. Mm. It's one of the few songs that's not available. Of course, we would need to consult with various like alliance it's a, leaders It's on the soundtrack, measure, but it's not streamable on Spotify. To which end, I could set out four Maybe it's and present it's the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. I can head eastward. Bosnia and Dalmasca are Flower. just a short hop from here. 
The Doma's <laughs> Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. I don't know how support that query has been answered. Nidana? You're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I'd been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. All of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You saved Havnir from an awful fate. Yet who hath truly saved who? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. A talisman? Did you get Is a reply true? to the support desk as well? Yeah. Did you read it or not, Shadow? Are you still in the cutscene? I'm still in the cutscene. Oh, I was so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. There's the flower. Look at that. It's, it's yellow now. It's completely changed. What do you have there? How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Harnish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, <gasps> some describe it as an essence do influenced by feelings. What? You imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, Exists in a domain beyond our that reach. That flower is like a damn gift bright in the eyes. from on high, or torn from the heavens in some traditions. That flower needs to be put onto dark mode. Akasha can Look neither be no. created how far nor away from McDonald's. It is beyond our power um, to purposefully should enter arrive in or six minutes. Okay. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, 
Surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat something, eh? abstract field of study. Mm. My follower count is 1976, but I'm going to need new followers. To formalized research. Yeah. And, and the follower I had... Which is Earlier, why my analysis like, um, of your flower Chloe? can amount to little more than was number two seventy five. I am sorry. Huh. Nonsense, you have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the Annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. How much, uh, how much time is left for this touching? A couple of seconds, maybe. Oh, okay. For me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be back in back in minutes, three minutes, tops.
the bot? Yes, he does. He's the one who created it.
You got your coffee? I did. Is it good? Yes. Duncan, uh, or, uh, I've heard McDonald's uh, has some of the best coffee ever. Uh, t um, about five years ago, they actually bought out the Tim Hortons recipe. When Tim Hortons got bought out by Burger King, yeah. They went. Tim Hortons actually started using the Burger King recipe for coffee. And. Now and tomorrow, I mean McDonald's bought it. Um, do you want to do um, an alliance raid? I'm not sure I'm up for an alliance raid this late. Okay. Especially not as a dancer. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm ready whenever you are. Uh, whatever you want to do. Let's do this one. Shokai? Which one is Shokai again? We'll find out. Did you want to do it as your... Oh, yes. Yes. Crap. So you have to cancel. Got it. Now go. What level is your martyr? 54. Oh. I hate that dungeon. Okay, we'll just keep for this. Oh, you know because you hate you, you know because you hate the one you're gonna get. You're gonna get that one. But he has to know. Look at how cute the sisters are. Look, they run so funny. Oh my god, it's just the cutest thing ever. Are there two of them there or just one? There's three. I only see one. Oh. You're all the standing tall. The yellow one, the green one, and the little tiny pink one. Then they all get down from one another and it's really cute. Yay, look at them. I just switched my profile view so I'm in the first person view so I can see him better. Another one? Another what? Oh, what did your report say? Oh, uh, let me look. Let 
uh, hello Haven, thank you for your GM call. We have received your report regarding grief tactics. We apologize for the disruption this caused. Thank you for providing enough information for us to begin investigation with our policies. Although we cannot share the outcome with you for privacy reasons, rest assured we do take this, this opportunity to behave seriously. Okay, so we got the same response. Oh, that's good. Then we got the same thing. Makes me happy. <laughs> that Facebook. Mass shootings are just a thing here now. Yeah. No longer surprised. Guess where it was? Texas. Guess where in Texas? At a mall. Guess where? Uh, Austin. Nope. I'll give you a hint. There was a school that made the news about a year ago. Mm, in I don't Texas. remember the news a year ago. Uvalde. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they live together? But yeah, they are uh, Arena and Eclair are in and they, they don't come in at the same time but they log out within about 30 seconds of each other every single <laughs> time. Sometimes Arena's on a lot longer. Not by, not, like maybe like once a week. True. So we have to transport all the way to Old Solarland? Good God. Do we? That's the next place, so it's, and it's, it's 1100 gil. <laughs> Free teleport. <laughs> you, you, you got the next one then. Probably oh, can't go into this because of the cutscene. Kara's <laughs> out here. She's out here. She's not in there. Uh, where'd Banana Chip just go? Must have gone to the main hall. I'm number one, by the way. Me too. <laughs> Been singing our own for like two minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, Square. I know I'm new to dancer, but like, seriously?
Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Wait, your dancer's already above level 50? Dancer starts at 60. Oh. What the hell are the healers doing? Sleeping. Will you come at me? Oh, there we go. have a dance buddy. This is so sad. And we have a skimpy bunny rabbit. is level 60. Oh, what? How is it Mo 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 Connor was actually to the left of me, but I was the one that got pretty to the back. How is that fair? Holy shit, this is a lot of fun! Oh, those are poppies. Those aren't an enemy. I hardly work. Did you really try to tell you something? <laughs> She's the one who's brand new to this, too. That's the thing. Trapped. Okay. So the dancer for the leg on stage. Okay, so I just think this is the temperature. It's 51 degrees that. And it's one more outside than the movie. Even if my computer been on and running a game for 13 hours.
She's hardly wearing any clothes. Yep. I told you that when she spawned in. What the hell? I literally said that when she spawned in. I was like, oh, we have a new... We have a new healer. Good question. Okay, that just seems like it would be very difficult if you to have like you're literally missing eighty percent of your people. Or did they set it up so it's like IJKL or something? I'm almost out of coffee. Mm. I've almost drank the entire 24 hours uh, cup of coffee. And how long has it been since I came back? Not long. I got some for ya. No, you can't have some coffee. Did 
I tell you the new change in this new show? He always heals even if he does speed boost now. He just doesn't heal as much when he does speed boost now. It's kind of like the, the old turbo button on computers. Like, what kind of doesn't matter if you're on the if you're already, if the turbo actually stays down. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. The, tur the old turbo button for the, um, the PC DOS phase actually slows down to a clock speed. Chat for Hollywood. That's the icon. That's the way you have to do an icon. Oh. Oh, we're all spread out. It's over there with the whirlpool. the thing.
ridiculous. To map this one too. Nope. Okay. Wait, I don't think so. Nope, I'm good. Okay. You could go get a minion if you wanted. Where would we get a minion? Over here. Ooh, what? With that coffee, I'm now overheated. Let me take off my headphones real quick. I got it. Oh. It's called a naughty nom. Wow, I rolled a 97. There we go. That's it. That's the end. Hey, I got an accommodation. I'll be right back. I gotta use the washroom. Okay. Quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim-faced, No, thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Ah, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. If 
anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Wow, you just went ahead of me, didn't you? To oh, I didn't start the cutscene. Test <laughs> and proof I of your you would have already started it when you were awesome. Something nope. about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Um, you're gonna see Raha. Isn't that and what it's absolutely Whitney hilarious what he's, he's, what he's about to do. This is too funny. The flower Hello, did Ra. seem to radiate a joyful glow. As if... I want to marry him. Reflecting the elation. I know, he, isn't he number five? The relief of a people with number renewed two. hope. Thank you, number five. Indeed. And in turn, Archie, I felt uh -huh. worried by that radiance. It was akin America, to spotting Obsidian, a thing. Thank you. We were Sinner. Right Which path. one was Merrick? I know we've Temple not yet Knight, triumphed over Ishgard. Trust in blue. The full breadth oh. of the forum's plans. But even within the midst you just like that, of our struggles, you just, you just like that. What is that heaven's word? To sustain us. Because they, what about all of them to do in heaven? Perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day look after day. Look at Raha. Look at the burger. <laughs> look how big it is compared to his face. Like that burger is bigger than his face. I would say he doesn't like pickles. Hey. That's mine. To the swift, the spoils. Though I recall that levitation his spell tea. of yours was quick enough. <laughs> tea. Oh, great heart. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. <laughs> oh, no, it's a present of Estidian. It's great. This new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, um, I presume. I. And from a veritable mountain of arcane So you know how the Canadian $20 bill has, has Queen Elizabeth on it, right? necessary to facilitate yeah. my solitary explorations. Um, just, oh, uh, Justin Trudeau simply, basically said today to that if, the forbidden archives. if King... Uh, I... King yes, well, after a fact. King Edward, I think? King Charles. Mm -hmm. If King Charles makes it three years, they, we will put him on the. We will replace the queen with his image. Coffee cups are huge at this cutscene. The shelves, they're too tall for me. And I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow, they. They just like there's not even like fun enough for those plates. It's a donut. <laughs> I love all three choices. Oh my I'm god. I'm not that ambitious. But it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. Oh my god, is it actually midnight? Mm-hmm. Wow. No, I, I just basically downed an entire coffee. I'll be up yeah. for a while. And it was, uh... How many ounces was this? Hello, Braha. Hot drinks, coffee. Ah, would you get a hot one the for a night? Cold, I yeah. see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur, or fashioned from the skins of your enemies, or twenty-five well, ounce coffee. Never mind that. I come to you once more as I the bearer of bad news. I just basically drank a 25 ounce coffee. 
Our tower in Thavne Why is 25 ounces? That's so and weird. I need not tell you mm -hmm. by whom it is. Why wouldn't it be 24? Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Xenos in this cutscene kind of looks like my cousin. Uh, <laughs> you mean yes. Xenos? Very well then. I suppose I you must Zenos? prepare a. No, it's Xenos. Oh, welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. <laughs> All else is. <laughs> Equal. Raha short. <laughs> equally tedious. <laughs> equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our so eyes and fills our really. throats till we blissfully mm -hmm. choke. Is this the news right one? But then. Yeah, because he's an elven, elven. Blinding and pure and hot. All right, you did. So are we pushing hot. on until dawn, right? Enough yep. To set my I'm gonna do. You do know these are my quarters. That's what I'm I gonna basked say. in the afterglow. <laughs> until the void yawned once more, and then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain. Burn, burn, let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will. Your flower glow green. Moment. Yep. Okay. How wonderful. That the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. And Daniel, hello. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointing, all the faces incomplete. The setting too was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes, I think that is something we can both enjoy. Next, oh, next, next quest is from Tyreek.
Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm like right past Alice. <laughs> I'm missing one I'll be, there, I'll be there to watch that touching in just a sec. I don't know where I'm going. Um, up to the school in the top right corner. If you want to talk to Alice. Oh, oops, I left out. Fucking way. You probably did what I did. Um, did you talk to Alice and Alfie right outside? I'm about to talk to them. Oh, okay. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. Sorry. No, you should be fine.
Yeah, that was uh, pretty fast. Okay, now we're going inside. Mm -hmm. Watch the student. walked right through the door. I can't, I just walked through the door. That was fast. You're just far enough ahead that the doors closed just the exact time I walked through. <laughs> We have not caught you at an inopportune moment. <clears throat> we wanted to offer our thanks for your kind words in the forum. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. Why, it fair brought a tear to my own eye. You must have the patience of a saint, putting up with this lot and their antics. Never mind Matoya's prize student. Luckily, I know a thing or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. No, that's if the I base may, satellite. There is a rather more pressing matter we wish nice. to discuss. That's the base, and then on top of that is whatever you get that the, the forum must fulfill. 
Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the forum, I am sworn to plumbing secrecy. company. And <laughs> you're calling you're calling for sales a plumbing company. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. You're calling for sales. Our no, duty no is of the greatest business, importance. Need to have, Furthermore, need to have, if the particulars um, were made public, drivers license with it would incite widespread panic. Clean drivers aspect. As such, those entrusted no with this duty have been bound by an enchantment which prevents us from speaking of such matters That's without the express permission of the forum. Well, for, How for is that even job? possible? Like, what the hell? <laughs> it's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Please, that, sorry, this is some take time. a seat. No, not tired at all. You just yawned in my ear. Oh no, I didn't yawn. I moved my headphones. It sounded like you wanted. <laughs> <sighs> nope. It's just me moving my headphones around. We shall begin by reviewing the fundamentals of etherology. Just what I need at night of school lesson on ether. The ether, which imbues us with life, can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul and the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? No, we, no they can't, Professor. Yes, very good. Oh wow, I actually got it right. <laughs> this is the form with, with which the layman magic. is most familiar. You didn't hit magic, by I even saw the you. Of daily activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us. This form of ether what is. What was that 14 hours? I know, right? In contrast, <laughs> the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory, as the two are intrinsically... Things that I've basically been on my computer since... ...7 a.m. Picture the soul as paper. Yeah, I want to say 7 a.m. because that's when I... ...written upon it. Well, you'll be sleeping real good in the morning. Now, what would happen if not that as, paper but not was as good as black, okay? <laughs> The same type of ether. Did you see? As did you feel what me and Brett were talking about? No. Yesterday on in stream. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, uh, well, his wife told me today that he was up for forty-three hours, forty-five minutes total. It would blot out everything that was written. And then he fell asleep at two a.m. Precisely. His time. We would be Guess unable to recall the memories, up. and any like activities 15 hours that later. upon them would be hindered. 9 p.m. So 2 a.m. to 2100. In fact, 19 hours. this exact phenomenon <laughs> was observed hours. on a vast scale not so long ago. And he, what might that Apparently, he got up once at about the 11 hour mark. He got up, sat on the side of the bed, had half a the cigarette, and then fell calamity. right back asleep. In fact, it's the people the of Aeorzea screaming. recall Bahamut what? breaking free of the lesson Bladder. and raining <laughs> hellfire down upon the realm. I guess. Um, but yeah, apparently, but no one could seem to she doesn't the even know that if he was even afterwards. actually awake when he woke up and had his half a cigarette. Indeed. To this day, we have yet to determine not sure whether if he was it was an actually unintended awake. consequence <laughs> oh or God. a deliberate act. <sighs> The For 19 hours, which binds me of, and the rest of the forum is based on a similar principle. And yes, I've ever been awake it is a contravention of the Charlene prohibition wow. against the practice of memory manipulation. Only when the new member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. 
Unnecessary evil. You have my word that it would never be used to manipulate the populace? I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine-tenths of our members give their approval, then the process may be reversed. Then, and only then, would we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty. Barring that, we must wait until we return to the Ethereal Sea. Dude has awful handwriting. The blots upon our souls washed clean. Welcome to and our memories drift apart something. and dissolve. Right? Rather defeating the purpose. H I P H I have no idea. Welcome to Hydrogen. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls. Some believe. What happens after that? We are reduced to pure ether, coalesce with that of others, and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal. Uh, hey, what fetch you? Welcome we back. Um, we play in Exodus, I think it's Both called. Both theories have their proponents. Okay. Yeah. Personally, yep. I Exodus. Each yeah, one Exodus. Um, but it is a congested world, so you, right now you won't be able to uh, uh, create a character in it. Well, I think that's enough education for today. Now that I've given you some food for thought, or rather, an entire banquet. I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Baldessian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Oh, and I suggest you speak with Key Aliapo. She's well known among the artisans of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits, wheresoever they may take you. Seriously, I just got a weapons crafter and apparently what I'm currently using is better. Yep. How is that possible? That's why I always wait for those weapon coffers to use them on a class that I don't have good gear for. How is that possible though? 
Just saying, I sort of you, I sort of switched like my dragoon or my warrior. Mm-hmm. Yep. Why didn't you tell me that? I'm sorry. Another fucking cutscene. Well, don't you know there's 27 hours of cutscenes in this in this expansion alone? It's 29. 29? I thought it was 27. 29. <clears throat> it's 120 more minutes and <laughs> that was down and gone. And that's just with the talking cutscenes. Get another dungeon for fourteen quests. So not till to tomorrow. <laughs> well, it is tomorrow technically. <laughs> it is not tomorrow until we go to sleep. And if I wake up at noon. That's 2 a.m. in Australia, so therefore that would be tomorrow. Oh ha. my god. Ha. We have to go all the way to Limsa? God, that's gonna be expensive. Um, so you're gonna wait. 23. What? You're gonna wait because I had to spend the 1100 last time. Oh, boo hoo. Wah. We're already there. I'm not. I'm really not already there. I'm gonna go check out the market board here for some stuff. Ow, oh, I just ripped the knot out of my hair. Go all the way to the command room? Where is the market board? It's up here by the ether crystal. See the man? I see the hunt board. Market board's uh, to the. Did you get my that teleport is... request? Yep, I just did. Okay. Was there anything good in the market board though? No, nothing that I saw was worth it. Standing. I found it. Um. So the best one is a level 133. Oh, oh wait, that's uh. Okay. So, to plus 14. There you go. 10,000. Jeez. Oh my god! Should I buy it? Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? And it's not much, it's, it's, it's not much better than what I currently have. Oh my god.
Wilson? Co jste měl? Glory for the people of Garlemond and for revenge against the Thai Lifrol. I don't I don't know. Revenge. Revenge of the Seth. Showing your loyalty to Ishgard, wanting to help protect people of the Garlemon Empire, or I hate Fan Daniel. <laughs> I hate Fan Daniel. I don't know. We're gonna go with For Honor and Glory. Because revenge isn't my style. I hate- I want you to choose that one. <clears throat> I love the battle music. Revenge, you said? The la yeah, for French against the Dolphin. I couldn't do better, I couldn't say better myself. Oh, that's what they said to me, too. Oh, Americ! Oh, great. Don't be killing him. My love! What happened to the question of, I hate Daniel? <laughs> so, I, I, a pair of pants I put up for sale for like a week ago just sold for $50. 50 dollars. 50 year. America, I thought we cut your head off. Like we did the like Lord of the Rings off. Leave America alone. I'll punch you. <laughs> I'm an eight hour drive away. Is it really worth the punch? It's not even that good looking. It's gorgeous. Thank you. 
I didn't get a torture then was fine. Am I seriously sitting at 14 hours basically? Wow. Wait, 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 how it was only like 12 hours, like or 13 hours like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so switch to warrior. Now use this. And now I have a level 82 <laughs> item from the warrior. You could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzabad contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades, yeah. yourselves included. Lucia. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. Oh, just looked like love struck, for the good eh? of all nations, mm -hmm. not least when, my former when home. Lucia? I am determined to when see this Lucia. mission through to its end. This is we have a hard road dropped. ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. <laughs> I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone, if I may have your attention. Might I ask you to speak first? If I must. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer, we shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemald. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Wait, I know you. There's 82 quests left, eh? The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. 
Any run. The Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key hauling as it is. But Army more importantly, of like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you got to trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. <laughs> Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most what of it. Is... Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together what anything is, uh... you fancy. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, mm -hmm. but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Believe you me. Do not see them with the the shout. I'm watching a cutscene. Well, I don't care. Raring to go, no. but then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master <laughs> Matoya, the avatar of destruction. Oh. <laughs> She's speechless. <laughs> With comrades like and these, and your your she? no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, Let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. The four high houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lumitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. Lord Emanolaine? <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, Emanolaine de Fortor, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed oh. gentleman of light. <laughs> What's with the dancing? Is there a dancer? Which one did you pick? The top one. And I'm choosing the bottom one. Okay. Huzzah! His response was, I cannot, I cannot wait to regale, regale, regale on a right with my tails of dewy, yep. dewy, dewy. That was the same thing for me. I believe that Thanks. concludes introductions for the grand company of Aeos here. There's something that dra cha dramatic of change. Our change, allies change. from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. 
Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! Like... Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Cyrena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those who don't, only to find them beyond our reach. No quarter to the enemy! Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. and the Bosnian resistance. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities, which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosnia, Alamigo, all lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Telophoron, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Garlians, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Seed Garland, the oh, Imperial geez. Defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Maxima, who stands with us today, tried to reform Garlemald from within and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. To reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsabad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigation <clears throat> systems. 
further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacius. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. I have one we will be tested. Way. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Taking a nap. Nope. Nope. Okay. We're going to wait for it to finish talking. But you know, a nap sounds like a great idea. You're tired. Slightly. Then go to bed. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. I have been streaming for 14 hours. Go to bed! Yeah. And then I can... We can look at them as soon as more tomorrow. Taru. Alright, am I... I'm not in the dump. Uh, You're... Okay. You can log out there. Can I? Yep. Two beans. Uh, Alright everyone, so with that being said, we will see you guys tomorrow.